Hello everybody, Caroline Alizan here, a graduate student of the Grok Trade Mentoring Program. It is Tuesday, July 12th, 2011, and we're looking at the Q's daily chart. What a beautiful drop below the 8 moving average, which is at the 58.16 mark, as well as that next major area support down below at the 57, actually the 57. 92 mark which we talked about yesterday and we needed to pay really close attention to it today and we are beautifully breaking through we're closing the day way below it which means that we are more bearish right now we entered into a bearish territory according to the aid moving average and we're continuing lower making lower highs and lower lows which means that we are heading south but check this out we have that lower area support right here on our way down at the 5718 mark as well as that next moving average which is the 50 day moving average which is sitting at the 50 50 let's see which is the 5692 mark so pay close attention to both of them right here because it could be a bouncing point at some point when we get closer to it or we could continue lower breaking through both of them and then the next one down below would be the 5669 mark actually the 5666 mark that would be another area of support down below to watch and then once we break through that one we could continue lower to the next area of support right here the 55 55 85 mark and then the next major one would be down here the 5530 mark so which is right on top of the 200 day moving average which you see here in blue it's a bright blue line right here the 200 day moving average and it's at the 5541 mark so pay close attention to that but just in case if we get a little bit of a bounce watch again the 50 792 mark really closely as well as the 8 moving average and then the next area of resistance on the way up would be here the 5830 mark and then the next one would be the 58 uh the 5870 mark and then the next one 59 and the next big one would be here at the high of july 7th which was again the 5936 so pay close attention to all areas of support and resistance here and check this out look at the MACD pointing lower and lower getting closer and closer to the zero line that is a good sign so but in terms for us to get really bearish we would need to pass and cross the zero line to the downside actually we will need to enter into a bearish territory which is right below the zero line that would be a really negative sign we would be in trouble if we ever get there and break through it to the other side of the trade so that's all I see on the MACD and with another negative tick which is a good confirmation and check this out look at the spike in volume in here on that down move wow that is huge that's what I want to see that's what I'm looking for actually on volume to to see a pretty good confirmation so that's that is huge so we are way above the average we are way above these previous volume bars which is good so it's another good confirmation here on our volume so again pay close attention to all areas of support and resistance that I showed you here today and look for confirmation with the MACD so have a wonderful day and I'll see you again tomorrow